All right, so I wanna start off this video by saying I made a couple of mistakes. I left my RGB lights on rainbow mode the whole time. And when you speed things up 20, 200 times, it starts to become a little bit dangerous. So this whole video, there's a seizure warning. If you are sensitive, if you have epilepsy, do not watch this video, I'm sorry. Also, I'm just using my phone. It, it works, but uh, did not set my, uh, my phone all that well. And my microphone, this little, uh, uh, where is it? This little guy, love it in a pinch. Not the best sounding microphone. So I've learned some lessons, figured some things out. But anyway, this is the story about my new Flexi Spot desk. I hope you enjoy it. It was a heck of a journey. And again, just saying, if you have epilepsy or think you might have epilepsy, do not watch this video. There was a lot of flashing lights. Just heads up. He's just a little guy. This is what's being replaced today, this desk. I'm hoping to do some actual cable management as well. As you can see, this is a little bit of a rat's nest. You probably can't see, but there's cables running through the walls there and over here as well. Ta -da -da -da. Got some LTT cable tie stuff coming in, the magnetic straps and everything. But yeah, this desk is gonna be replaced with a much, much larger desk as of today. All right, so I pulled the chairs out, but other than that, I haven't really done anything else. Ah, here it goes. Shoot, gotta find a place for everything. Everything has a place, sort of, mostly. I love these monitor arms, but they are kind of complicated to get down because they're so heavy, but they do a great job. I love them. Hi. Oh, how to get out this now? Look at him go. Rolling around at this. This is what I have to work around. A lot, a lot of cables on the ground. I'll figure it out. Gotta keep these monitors safe. Nap time. I'm not even sure why I left that scene in. Man, that's not too bad. My fiance fed me through the door. She had some orange chicken. The cats tried to get in. So, bit of a snafu. The holes on the table do not line up with the holes of the legs. So I'm going to have to improvise. And we figured we take this as a teaching moment to show you guys how to do it. I'll learn. This will be a let's learn together in LLT. All right, so here we are. I'm just tightening up these little screws here so that the desk doesn't fall apart when we lift it up and move it. Uh, when we picked it up in the first place, it did fall, so I want to make sure that didn't happen again. This, uh, it, it is what it is. You kind of make it work. Can you help me grab some things? Do you have that pink twine handy? Okay, I'm gonna need a pink twine, a couple of toothpicks. Yeah, you know what? Instead of having to do all sorts of crazy craziness, I'm just going to mark these holes with these toothpicks. And hopefully I can work with this to make this somewhat functional. So let's... Oop, that's a little bit... Yeah, a little bit short. Can you grab more toothpicks? I'm sure there's useful size ones in the first place. So this will give me an idea of where the knit is. There we go. Okay. Cool. So, oh, there's a smaller hole. So I'm trusting that their machine holes are in fact uh, even. Oh, this one is such a shallow little hole. I was going to different uh, screws. Okay. Get in there, get in there, come on. There we go. There's probably an easier way to do this, but hey, my way worked. It's it's within a sixteenth of an inch, that's good enough for me. Now we use this little fucker, little orange poke poke, and we make markings for our new holes. This is a good way to mark your place and so that the drill doesn't leave the hole when you're trying to drill. We're gonna take a drill bit, check these holes, so it's not very deep. What we're gonna do then is take some tape, not a lot, just a little, and then wrap it around. The drill bit. That Capri Sun had to make it in. So that then is how deep we're going. Pinch the tape off so it doesn't come loose. That's how deep we're going. I don't know. Drill noises. Screwdriver noises. There's my little pokey friend again. Harry, I'm just putting on these little shields so that you don't get, you know, your pants or something caught in uh in the gears. Here is a view of what I've just done. I did this part by hand on both sides. The cables were all there. We did, well, actually, we did all this by hand. There's the buttons over there. I'm about to drill this down. Drill noises. Putting the electronics on and doing a little bit of cable management. Just a little bit. So we're gonna start doing the next step, which is flipping this thing down and trying to figure out if we can squeeze it in there or not. Bob's your uncle. The couch is fantastic. I love that thing. I've gotta play some patty cake. And look at him go. Can you take me higher? Sorry about the flashing lights in your face. I really do apologize. I really didn't mean to do that. Yeah, these things are really heavy. Whoop. Man. Is that easy? Wow. 
Again, thumbs up, mounted. You guys make great freaking monitor arms. I, I love these so much. I bought two and I'm gonna buy them again. It held up my full on 42 inch LG C2 without breaking a sweat. I am impressed. Can you take me higher? It was higher than I went before. Boing. It's really not a lot of wobble. Steady as a rock. That's pretty stable. Yeah, okay. This might have some complications, but that's nice. I'm gonna plug everything in, get it ready to go. And then when my cable ties show up, I'm gonna do the cable management stuff. That'll be a whole separate video. It'll be fun. I'm looking forward to it. This is nice. Doesn't even feel real. Got a real desk. Imagine Flight of the Bumblebee here. <sighs> Look at that. Might need to get a new one. So, yeah, thank you so much for uh, for joining me for this. I feel like I'm gonna be able to get a lot more work done because of this. Super, super stoked. Yeah, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. There will be more. I will be doing a whole part two of this. I don't know if I'm gonna record getting everything from here onto here in a way that makes sense. If I don't need this desk here at all, which I might not, I can get a bigger TV. This is great. Look at all the room for activities. Love it. Oh, so much space. So much space. This is the Flexi Spot E7B. B for black legs. Plus, big old desk. This is also the 79 inch by 35 inch bamboo top, dark bamboo. I think all in all, it was round 12, 1250, counting shipping, American. And the top took about two weeks longer to get here than the rest. That being said, I'm happy with it. I'm glad that we went through the trouble of doing this ourselves. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share. I know I already said it, but thank you so much for watching this video. It was a lot of fun doing this, a lot of work, but this has already been helpful in getting this video that you just watched done. I'm gonna be doing the cable management as of today, actually, the day the video that you just watched drops, my cable management magnetic stuff is coming in. So don't forget to subscribe if you want to see that process. And I promise I won't have the flashing rainbow lights. It won't be seizurific. I've learned my lesson. I have them on right now, actually, but when you put them up to 200 times speed to try to cut a four hour video down into five, six minutes, yeah, you see you, you see how we got there. I've also fixed my camera, as you can probably see. Thank you so much for watching. There will always be more. All right, thank you so much for watching this video. I'm, I'm, ooh, I'll try that one more time. I, and I, I, blah, blah.